Sorry, well, I'm back with Bone Walls training. Gonna go over another advanced technique to kind of release the tack down the component to the bottom of the feet. As we've discussed in previous videos, when the feet are all back up, you're not gonna be able to get proper dorsiflexion and activation to the toes and the feet. Now, before, we've done a video where we were rolling out the bottom of our feet, you know, with a ball of some sort, which is great. But in an extreme sense, it's still not going to give us enough space even combined with some of the mobility that we've gone over. So another technique that we can do is we can actually scrape the bottom of the fascia of the feet and create some type of movement as we're scraping off the side edges of, say, a roller. In this case, my Unity Lifestyle grind roller. My friends from Unity Lifestyle. So what we can do from here, we can take a step onto the roller. And what we want to try to do is keeping leverage and using some type of leverage through our hands or being able to hold ourselves up, we're gonna literally help scrape the outside profiles of our feet. And as it starts to concave and rotate off the edge of that roller, we can start trying to activate our toes to some degree. And we're slowly just letting it kind of press over the edge of the roller. And as we're doing that, again, we're trying to activate the feet. This will actually break off some of those tight adhesive properties where you're getting restrictions trying to create more healthy movements to your toes, to your feet, to your ankles. If your feet, your toes, your ankles are working a lot better. Essentially, when you go to express movements in lunges, running, squatting, things are going to move a lot better. You're going to have less weird strains, sprains, tightness, and possibilities of injuries coming up back in that pain in respects to like the knee area, the hip area, and the connective tissue that's around it. So, yeah, I would spend time rotating the outside profile. I almost do like a 15 to 20 second rate where I'm just scraping. After I've done that and I've kind of slipped off the edge, I just reposition the foot a little bit higher and just keep doing the same profile until I get to the edge of our heel. And this is a great way to again break up the adhesive properties of the tack down going to the fascia and the muscle tissues in the feet. So use this advanced technique today to really fix your feet and get them moving back.